Hey guys, what's going on? Mike here. In today's tutorial, I just want to show you how I create engaging social media content for my client. And here we are jumping right into DaVinci Resort to not waste any time. Once I'm in a DaVinci Resort, I create a timeline vertical. Um, so I got the footage from my client, which looks like this. So it's like basically talking to the camera. It's around 40 seconds long, 35 seconds uh, when I create a timeline. Then what I do is like I go through, cut the briefs out, like when, when he's breathing, uh, this is what I'm cutting away. So then I'm looking for the nice songs I could use. And I use mostly like Artlist or Storyblocks, but mostly Artlist is for me the way to go for like good finding trending music. And I really like that dashboard and I really love how you can find very quickly um, music you need for like your kind of production. So any type of music is here, trendy footage as well. After this, when I create the timeline with the music, I boost the audio from the voiceover. I have a plugin for this, but I don't want to get to details in this. After this, I look for what can I do for emojis on top. So you can see here, like super easy. I put this in. I found the meme, which was like working really well there. And then some title animation and some B-roll stock footage. Um, this was footage refilmed there. So basically this is what I'm doing. And it's important for me to every two seconds to change something, like make a zoom in at the beginning. I always like zoom in just a little bit and I tell them as well as like you have to look into the camera or like do some movements because that's how we get the attention. So basically once I want to create some nice creatives, uh, you can use Illustrator, you can use anything you want. What I use is Canva because it's super easy. And what I'm doing here is I create different layers and these layers, I export them like individually. So I have like um, let's say here, for example, I have five different or four different icons and then I let them bring in from the left, right, everywhere, how I want. And this way I get really easy, like a nice animation like this. It's popping up and then I have a cross. I have a whole library of assets where I say like, I want to have a take, a cross. It takes a while to get everything together, but once you have it, your workflow speeds up like crazy. Uh, it's the same with sound effects. Once you figure out which sound effects, like whoosh sounds, like whoosh, when it comes in or whoosh, when it goes away, or some some hand clapping, I was like, yay, or something like that. It was like, put it in one folder. Um, I organize my files mostly uh, in um, Google Drive or Mega. And then I have all the assets there, um, all the animations, or like, as I showed you before, the titles and the icons I want to use. And after this, basically what I'm doing is like, can I enhance the quality with some stock footage with some memes in? So this is when I find some memes, I add them in, in a very specific moment, where it's like people is like getting more attention. And then you say the problem or the solution from what you want to say in the video, you know, after this, um, as I say, I look for stock footage. I use a story block. It's quite decent. Art list is also very nice. Um, then I tap in what I have in my mind, like uh, blood pressure or like a tea leaf or whatever what. And this way I can find the stock footage very quickly and always keep in my mind that I want to have it in horizontal, uh, vertical. Once I have this done, I do a little bit of color grading sound design very important for me and then we don't have any caption we don't have any subtitles so you can do this in davinci or what i do is like i convert everything and after i convert everything i put it into which i closed it caption captions is an amazing app for your phone and also you have a mac os version which is just insane so you bring in your footage and what it does it does for you the subtitles you see here this is so crazy and it it's highlights the words you can also say like empathy uh, emphasize a little bit more do some emojis on top and then you scrub through the timeline here and see if everything is written well so that's basically it after this i click on export and then i go to advanced options i say 25 frames per second um, as the video clip high resolution in bitrate um, because that's the best quality I want to have for uploading on social media. 
Um, I not upload any 4K. What I do is I keep the bitrate on 30 megabits per second because that way you have like really crisp footage and it gets not reduced in or so much compression from the social media apps. So this way you have really nice and clean footage. And that's actually it. That's my whole workflow. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. And yeah, that's the whole video and I will show you now the video. Wusstest du, dass das koffeinreichste Getränk der Welt nicht Kaffee, Mate, Guarana oder Grüntee ist? What the fuck is this? I don't know. Das koffeinreichste Getränk der Welt hat bis zu dreimal mehr Koffein als Kaffee und stammt aus den Tiefen des Amazonas Regenwalds. Es wird seit tausenden Jahren von Jägern vor der Jagd genutzt, um die Sinne zu schärfen und über mehrere Stunden hinweg wach und fokussiert zu sein. Der Name ist Guayusa und diese Pflanze hat als einzige koffeinhaltige Pflanze der Welt keine der Nebenwirkungen anderer Wachmacher. Für mehr Infos lass mich deine Fragen in den Kommentaren wissen. Bis dahin, dein Sebastian von Guia.